Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how you can turn your phone into a controller for your PC in order to play some games. I'll be testing with Divinity Original Sin 2 today, and the app that we use to do that is called Droid Joy. So you need both Droid Joy's server installed on your computer to serve as the receiver, and then you need the Droid Joy Lite or Pro version installed on your mobile phone to serve as the broadcaster, and once you connect the two, you'll be able to use the controller on your PC. So Joy Joy Lite, you can pick that up from the Google Play Store. If you go into Google Play, you put in Joy Joy. It should be the one by Florian Grill. You can also see that they have the pro version there. The Lite version is ad supported, but once you're playing and actually using the control, they don't randomly pop up with ads after that. So just go ahead and install this one like you would with any other mobile app. And then go ahead and open it up. You'll see four buttons, gamepad, connect, settings, and customize. But before we're going to connect to anything, we need to actually install the server. So you can pick up the server at github.com slash grill2010 slash droidjoy underscore server. I'll put the link in the description of this video. Once you're there, look for the droidjoy 2.1 signed or the latest version over here on the right under releases. Click that. Download the executable if you're running on Windows 64-bit. This is probably the version you want here. So just go ahead and run that and then launch Droid Joy server like you would any other application. So you might see down here it says free game pads. For you it will say one initially as in you can have one slot for a phone to connect as a controller. So down here under status you might see free game pads one. If you want to enable a second controller, basically having two phones connected at the same time, you can go to GamePad 2 and check Activate X Input GamePad and then reboot the Joy Joy server. So as far as actually connecting your device, there's two ways to do it. One is local Wi-Fi and the second is Bluetooth. If you want to control whether you're connecting on Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, you can click Settings on the mobile app and then go to Connection and Connection Type. So you can see Wi-Fi and Bluetooth here. So I would try Wi-Fi first, and then you can go back and back. And as long as your phone is on the same Wi-Fi network connected to the same router as your computer, then you should be able to go in to connect. Initially, you won't have any entries, so you'll be given the option to either find a server automatically or to enter one manually. So you can always try hitting find server first, which should pop up with the IP address of your computer as it's listed here in Joy Joy Server, the app and you can give it a server name and then just hit save. Alternatively, if it doesn't pop up, you can try entering it manually. And then the IP address you're gonna to wanna to enter is this local IP address that you see in Joy Joy server. The same would apply if you're doing the Bluetooth Mac address in Bluetooth mode. So this is for Wi-Fi, and then this is for Bluetooth mode. So once you've found your server, you should try to connect to it. So I'm gonna click on the one from the list and it'll say connected both on the mobile phone and on the computer as a Windows notification. So now the gamepad button should be highlighted with red, and we can click on that to go into gamepad mode. I'm gonna go with the standard template instead of the shooter template at the top. So once you're connected and you go into gamepad mode, you should have controls around the screen. The setup is basically an Xbox 360 controller. You have the bumper buttons on the top left and top right. You have the left stick on the left, the right movement stick on the right, which in Divinity is for camera controls. Uh, a D-pad, the standard A, X, Y, B buttons, home button, so on and so forth. So at this point, I'm going to load up a game that's compatible with Xbox 360 controllers, and I will control it from my mobile phone. So let's go ahead and open up Divinity Original Sin, and I'll hit the A button on my phone controller in order to start. You can see it's responding there. I can hit, I can use the D-pad to move up and down, and I could go ahead and continue my story if I wanted why to change profile, so on and so forth. You can see that they actually show the Xbox 360 controller controls in this game. So just to point out really quick, if you wanna have multiple devices connected, I was able to get that to work. So once again, you need to get that free gamepads two to show up down there or more, you can actually enable more. So you gotta activate the X input gamepad, reboot the program, and you should see two there before you connect your devices. In order to get both phones to connect, I did have to go to Bluetooth mode, so let me show that real quick. You go to settings, connection, and you click on connection type, Bluetooth, go back. And then when you connect, it's exactly the same, except instead you're putting in a MAC address instead of an IP address. So if you want to enter that manually, you can go to enter manually. And then you just need to type in all the characters that you see up here on your Joy Joy server screen. So in a nutshell, that is how you can set up your phone to be a video game controller for your PC using Joy Joy and Joy Joy server. So I've been Chris. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my future video content.